Little did I know that it would reach a lot of people the first time I tried to preserve roses. Last Valentine's Day, I've got to receive another set of flowers, and I couldn't help myself to preserve it and cherish the memories that comes with it. Let us begin by carefully splitting the stem of the rose starting at the bottom of the stem. Use a heavy book that you don't mind damaging. As the rose dries, it may release enough moisture to damage your book. So I will be using a wax paper. It will take about 2 to 3 weeks for the rose to dry depending on temperature and the humidity levels. Open your book about halfway. Place the rose between two sheets of wax paper in the middle of the book. Close the book and stack heavy objects on top of it for the weight. The easiest way to press a rose is to use a book. However, keep in mind that the process may cause the book to wrinkle a little from the moisture of the rose. So use a book you don't mind that happening to. Alternatively, you can use a flower press. You can press multiple roses. Just make sure that you space them apart and do not overlap them. Place inside a large heavy book and carefully close the book. I plan to air dry the other roses by hanging it upside down. Air drying is the most common method of preserving roses. This method is best for rose buds that are just about to open. Hang them in a warm, dry and dark place with good ventilation for 2 weeks. Tie a string around the stems and hang them upside down. This will prevent moisture from becoming trapped between the flowers which can mold them. Once they are completely dried, be careful to handle them for they will now be brittle. My plan is to hang these roses for a week and then press it in a heavy book on another week. I just wanted to know which process will make a good outcome. For the other roses, I just left them drying on the vase for one week. I have made a petal spread that I thought will make it look good after pressing it in a book. I wanted the pressed roses to be kept on my journal. In fact, I'm a big fan of people who manage to keep one. And then I came across a book authored by Abby C., a Filipino artist and author who loves art and travel. Then I discovered about Travel Diary. After that, I bought all of her books available at that time. I really love all of her works. That's when I told myself that I'd love to make a journal. But I made a different one. And maybe I can call it a love journal. This is my keepsake and serve as an exquisite memento for the beautiful moments that I never ever want to forget. Love is the strongest power in the world. To fall in love is one of the most beautiful things to experience. Being in love is said to not last long and evaporate quickly. After a period of love, we remember only fragments and wish we could save those experiences in a jar and open them up every once in a while to relieve those moments. That is not possible so far. But with a love journal, you can at least remain in love with your memories and retrieve many beautiful moments, situations, and words of that loving period. You can keep a love journal any way you want it just like a regular journal. Love is exceptional and it does not come around often, so when it comes around, you want to capture every part of it. Writing your love experiences down, especially from the beginning, can help you remember what it was that made you fall in love. It can serve as a foundation to build a good relationship and see how you evolve in your relationship. Scrapbooks are great for preserving memories through photographs, writing, and mementos. I love having this and although flipping back through my love journal is sometimes a bit cringy. It's funny to be reminded of things I'd forgotten about or see what I thought was important to document at the time. 
So after 4 weeks of pressing, air drying, and letting the roses dry on the vase, this is what it looks like. This is the one I left on the vase to dry and then press it on the book. I also pressed the petals which separated from the other buds. This is the one I air dried before pressing it on the book. This is my favorite one. Then this is the one which I have made a petal spread and I thought that it will make it look good after pressing it in a book. But the outcome doesn't look pretty for me. Pressing flowers can be done in a few different ways. And it is good in experimenting so that the next time you do it, you'll know which one will have a beautiful outcome. Next step, printing. I love making my journal full of photos of us or anything that can make me completely remember that lovely moment we shared. Be it a movie ticket, a dinner receipt, or even the card he gave me along with those flowers. Before, I thought of journaling as just having a diary, just a little thing you do to pass the time to write down all the things that happen to you every single day. When I was just a little girl, I'm fond of that. I was then thinking, like when I grow up, I will read all of it. I always wrote, Dear Diary, with a specific date and time I wrote it. All of my secrets were written there. And then, my siblings found out about it, read it out aloud, and teased me non-stop. So that's when I stopped writing a journal. But this time, I've got inspired to make a new one. A different one full of photos and mementos that only the two of us can understand. Keeping a scrapbook journal is different for everyone. Perhaps you have a bullet journal that you want to write about your journey in. Or maybe you want to keep a journal specifically for a certain moment. I find scrapbooking before I go to bed or first thing in the morning is an easy habit to stick to. Sometimes I'll forget or just won't find the time. Different people will have a different approach to their own scrapbooking process and might also aim at different goals altogether. At first glance, it seems that the photos we have are the reason we create layouts. Whether it is digital scrapbooking, on a computer, or traditionally with paper, scissors, and glue. Many tutorials will have the steps spelled out starting with a variation of gatherer photos or just the photo you want to scrap. This is a very common approach and probably what most people do most of the time. But there are exceptions. Photo albums have long been a way to remember people, places, and events and share about them. Decades ago, they were little more than a collection of photos fastened on pages or slipped in plastic sleeves. We would flip the pages one by one, pointing at Aunt Susie or Cousin Paul. We would remember that brand new car our parents had purchased. We would also talk about our vacation at the beach, the birthday party for Anna, or the first day of school. The photos for the support for those memories and even in this new format, photos play a big role. 
the majority of our layouts are probably reaching out in the same way. We have a photo and they become the focus of our layout, where we will add some mementos related to the person, place, or event. I have always appreciated the journaling process. It is a huge stress lever. In fact, there are countless journaling benefits for mental health including boosting your IQ, achieving goals, and boosting your memory. On the other hand, I have always loved the process of scrapbooking. I love taking photos and putting them together to remember my favorite memories. My journal is a mixed media art journaling process that allowed me to add photos, movie tickets, and other memorabilia directly into my journal. As I become more and more open to the idea of calling myself a scrapbooker, I've been seeing that it is what you make it. That it doesn't have to be cheesy or expensive or incredibly time-consuming. A scrapbook can simply be a prettier photo album. It can also be both depending on your mood. It is what you make it. The key is to find your way to do it. Just like learning how to preserve your roses, you just need to love both the process and the end result. So make your journal as simple and organized or as artistic as you want. Hope you love this video and a personal love journal. Next time your partner gave you roses, you can preserve it this easy way. Thank you for watching!